five, four, three, two. Good morning, it's Tuesday, August 21st, and it's a black day. I'm Matthew Turner. I'm Andrew Barber. And we're host this morning's WCHS Announcements. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you to Dr. Coombe for starting our day with the Pledge and the Moment of Silence. Yes, thank you very much. And if you ordered a 2017 or 18 year book, you may pick it up during fifth period today in the cafeteria. Please wait until you are called. All teachers have a list of who ordered so. If you are not sure, ask someone to check for you. If you would like to order this year's yearbook, bring $70 in cash or a check to the cafeteria during yearbook distribution. The price will increase throughout the rest of the year. That is unfortunate. Mm. Get them now. Please come and join the academic team on Monday and Thursday afternoon for our Jeopardy style practice. We have buzzers too. It is full out. That's awesome. They're bidding to make an appearance on Channel 2 High Q program this year. And we need, yeah, High Q program this year. We need people who are good in any area to come and practice. Math Wiz, we need you. Broadway Musicals, we need you. Science Lover, we need you. Come and give it a try. Dude, I love me some Broadway musicals. You should do that, man. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I know nothing about Broadway musicals. Give it a shot anyways. I could try. You could. And Friday will be a College Colors Day. Wear your favorite college t-shirt on our colors and ask your teachers about their college Go experience. Go back. Yeah. Kona Ice will be here at lunch today between CMS and CHS outside the cafeteria. Take your money to lunch and enjoy Kona Ice. That's nice. And the pre-SAT will be given on early release day, October 24th. The test is free for 10th graders and is great practice for the SAT <laughs> students. And 9th and 11th grade may take the test for $16. And to register, see Ms. Wood in the main office by Friday, September 7th. Late registrations will not be accepted. Mm -hmm. Calhoun College and Career Academy is excited to kick off the first quarter of the year in the Backpack to Briefcase series. Any student in 9th through 12th interested in checking out some of the high-wage, high-demand opportunities available from Georgia Northwestern Technical College are invited to sign up to attend GNTC's Industrial Career Day on Friday, September 7th. And students, there will be a back-to-school rave on Saturday, August 25th in the Black Box Theater from 8 to 10 p.m. I'll be the there. The cost is $5 in advance and $6 if you in you want to pay in advance? H-E-M or Ayush Gupta. Sure. And tickets will go on sale next week. Seniors, week. remember that in order to get in free, you this must week. have your senior lanyard. Do you have those yet? Or Dude, are they on the way? They're not in yet. Right. I think it's Wednesday. I think Wednesday is the asking. magic day. Good news. Oh, by the way, Ayush Gupta is the DJ. So it'll be a good time, of course. Good news for Italian food lovers. There are still spots available for the culinary tour of Italy trip in summer of 2019. If you're interested in this nine-day trip around Italy, contact Miss Atkins to learn more. Any student is welcome to join. And in the it's senior specific. section of the announcements, if you missed last week's senior meeting, please email or stop by Ms. Arnold to make sure you have all of the important information that was shared. If you are a member of the class of 2019, and you have not signed up for Ms. Arnold's Reminder Group, please text at Stingers19 to 81010 to join. A lot of important information to make sure you get that. Mm -hmm. Senior portraits will be made tomorrow, August 22nd, for all senior girls, and on Thursday, August 23rd, for all senior boys. All seniors need to report when called. You should have received information in the home room. You will be able to do a formal and casual picture. No money is due on picture day. Just show up with yourself and look good. Mm -hmm. And any senior interested in applying for the Chamber Youth Leadership Program for 2018 and 19 applications are now available. So students should see Dr. Hayes, Ms. Hawkins, Coach Rice, and Ms. Long to pick up directions. Completed applications are due by Thursday, August 30th. The application can be found online on the CHS webpage under the Students tab. Seniors, please remember to sell your Boston butts. The deadline to make sales is Thursday, August 23rd, which is this Thursday, so get those in. Please get the money in order forms from Mr. Benham as soon as you have made your sales. Money needs to be collected at the time of the sale. Order forms are in the front office of CHS if you need them. Also remember your Orlando deposit of $75 and all the forms are due by August 27th to your advisor or to Mr. Benham. Did you say you, you sold six? Six bucks. Turned them in yesterday. Though. Proud of you, man. Thanks. Did good. And in sports, Lady Jacket softball had two great wins over at Daresville. Monday evening, Varsity won 3-1, to one, led by Carly Henderson and Aaron Barnes at the plate, Good while job. Lana Sims was the winning pitcher, only allowing two hits. Anna Taylor and S.B. Reyes made key plays in the field while playing stellar defense. 
and JV action. Calvin won eight to one. Wow. Wow. Miles Show Winston, Paris Kirby, and Kaylee Warren dominated with the bats while Sydney Terry was the winning pitcher, striking out seven. Wow. Farsi travels to Call of Creek today with the first pitch set for 5.30. They dominated once more. And the stingers dominant. of the week are back today at the end of the announcements. So stay tuned for always those, excited. please. There will be a meeting for anyone interested in wrestling the school year on Wednesday at 2.45 in the cafeteria. Not this kind of wrestling. No, not that different one. form of wrestling. If and you want to actually <laughs> wrestle, then... Just listen to what he said. And today in history, the modern United States receives its final state to date when President Dwight D. Eisenhower signs a proclamation admitting Hawaii into the Union as the 50th state. The president also issued an order for an American flag featuring 50 stars arranged in staggered rows, five six-star rows, and four five-star rows. The new flag became official July 4th, 1960. Welcome, Hawaii. Having a birthday today is Nate Stockman, Kaylee Acevedo, Austin Greeson, and Evangela Sosa. Very happy, happy birthday, birthday to those people. And for Not everyone really else, good. have a tremendous Tuesday. Oh, look, Ric Flair. <laughs> Woo! Two claps to Ric Flair. Two claps to Ric Flair. <laughs> Woo! Go Jack. Welcome back to the Coach Hal Am Show, and we're going to take a look at the plays of the games, the Stingers, and we had several. Coach, you had five turnovers in the ball game, and it's a lot of touchdowns. Here we go. We got Brandon in motion here, run the counter back away from it, and good, good run by John Kell Talbert, good blocking up front. Yeah, this is a big touchdown in the first half. Uh, gets us on the board, and uh, our first touchdown of the season, by the way. Another touchdown to Zach Fuller right here. We run the power play, and ain't stopped it all night long. No, he, he just gets in the end zone pretty much untouched. That was one of two rushing touchdowns Zach had for the early evening. Mm-hmm. And we got a deep post here. Good throw. Good execution on the post to Luke Mosley for a touchdown. We didn't see it earlier, but Luke made a nice move on the guy. Yeah, nice outside move to get, break himself really open deep. And we got a turnover here, I think. Uh, Josh Hales makes a tackle and Dawson Hamby with the fumble recovery. Yeah. Tell you what, after this uh, game has ended, you know, a lot of good things to take out of this, a lot of yep. positives. Mm -hmm. We're going to get another black shirt turnover. Turn over here. Dave Allen reading the eyes of the quarterback and kind of running over him for a <laughs> touchdown. He gave him a little hesitation move and then dropped the shoulder on him. Oh, I can't believe, I can't, oh, this is the interception by yes. Brandon, I think, forced the quarterback to scramble. Yeah, he sets up the quarterback. Quarterback thought the receiver great, was... Great interception by Brandon Spector. Was behind him. Brandon reaches back and snags that ball. So we're going to do a little special teams right here. Yeah, we're going to get Julio in action here. One, one of four touchbacks came out of nowhere. I mean, I, I, like you said, we need to ball something up at halftime, whatever he drank. Yeah, he did it really, really well. As, as Coach said, first of four. And then the uh, field goal attempt. Eduardo getting into action here. We got to shore up that protection, but it wasn't bad. 27 yards. Yep. All right, congratulations.